I live in the west central mountains of Idaho, about an hour north of Boise. I've often said that I quilt my memories. I remember places I've been and people I've seen. I remember um, book titles, song lyrics. I remember landscapes and colors. I remember fragments of conversations and I remember my impressions. And I take all those memories, I connect them with my own geometric imagery, and I create meaning. Last Rites, for example, is my commentary on the last years of my father's life with Alzheimer's disease. Last Rites is also one of what will be 12 large quilts that are largely derived from planned chants. Many artists over the years have used planned chants to inform their work. They've thrown the dice or they've used baseball standings, maybe random number generators. And they've used those to choose their colors or they've used them to um, arrange their color shapes and lines on uh, their canvases. I've done something similar and have used some of those techniques when I have composed last rites. I'm going to end this by talking a little bit about the color pink, which I've um, used more and more in my own pieces. A friend where I live, who is a composer and a musician, says that she considers the repetitive riffs she uses in her work to be the glue that holds her musical compositions together. I really like that analogy, and I've come to figure out that pink, especially the very lightest pink, is the glue that also holds my visual work together. And so um, when people ask me, which they do very often, why I'm using the color pink, I can say that I may not understand the genesis of my preference for pink, but I do understand how and why I use it. And I'm really pleased to have Last Rites in Quilt National 2017.